Right, I'm here with Johan De Silva, sixth degree black belt in Taekwondo. How long have you been training for in about, Taekwondo? About 25 years, I think. About 25 years. Yeah. So you've done, you're experienced. What made you convert all the way to kickboxing? I think uh, this is your this is your first first kickboxing first kickboxing competition. Competition, yeah. Oh, wicked. So well, what made you convert over? Obviously, I'm very close to Master Wolf and the rest of the guys through the Taekwondo. Uh, sort of grown up with most of them and then competed alongside them and then I think I just saw from their experience in the kickboxing there was another element that could be added to the training mm. always looking to improve, always looking for new ideas and it seemed like a fantastic opportunity Oh wicked, so we've been here, what, uh, this is second day? Yes You've been chilling? It's already a very novel experience, you know, so we flew in uh, no issues, the hotel is wonderful did the weigh in. Do you have trouble with your weight? Not at all. So I've got a Kia 1.2 Kia under. What's your sort of uh, preparation? Like, did you, did you go to do a camp? Yeah, we do a training camp because I, te I teach six days a week. So my own training is sometimes difficult because managing that with a, a day job. But then I'm very lucky because I have a lot of senior grades who help me prepare as well. So normally what happens is I will train after I've taught the class. So they'll either stay on and help me train. So you, you got one other student here, haven't you? You didn't bring anyone else with you this time? No, it's uh, not not through, not for any major reason other than uh, it's just been a busy year. So in August we're preparing for the ITF World Champs, and then in September six of the black belt class were, were grading as well. Hmm. So the focus was really on those those events, and really uh, the guys were still trying to work out a way of getting here, but it was lack of leave. So towards the end of the year, you know, they're working a day job as well. That uh, wonderful 25-day allowance is, is gone. <laughs> so uh, Adam Adam was able to make out here, but next year already all the guys are messaging us daily, checking for okay. And part of this was obviously just 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 making sure that um, it's the type of thing we want to to get involved in. To be honest, I knew that from before before I even got out here. Hotels being great, flights being great, and that's because of all the preparation. That and back done. next to the beach. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Not bad, and day off as well. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a nice experience, very well planned. You got any expectations for, for tomorrow? Because obviously, what is it? It's, it's either, you might, you might be fine tomorrow, mightn't you? Yeah, I, th I think that the continuous will be tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it, because I, I do Taekwondo, but I also box as well. Yeah. So linking the two, I think the opportunity to use hands more than just straight arm techniques, which we'll do in the ITF style, is something we're looking forward to. It's just the overall experience really and it's nice to be part of a team because I've got my own group with the Taekwondo normally organising stuff but Master Wolf, you know, Miss Wolf and Mr Hemmings and the rest of the squad, everyone helps out. It's very nice to be part of such a, such a team really. Oh wicked. Um, what, so what are you, um, have you been tipped about any, any different styles or anything different from the Taekwondo? Uh, I think Mr Hemmings and Mr Wolf have spoken to me separately about a couple of things. To, uh, to focus on and look out for, but those can be revealed after the event. <laughs> if they work. If they work. <laughs> if they don't work, I need to practice them a bit more. <laughs> Not taking any more no, advice. No, no, no. No. Um, no, just generally, I think uh, I think it's more the warnings, because in Taekwondo, sometimes the movement, yeah. people people use the ring, stepping out of the ring as a way of resetting. But here, it's a lot, it's a lot stricter, Strict. so you've got to work on the lateral movement. But that's, that's absolutely fine, I prefer that actually. And if it goes well, hoping to get some more students out here? I know, I'll definitely be bringing some more. I've already spoken to the guys, so we're, we're just looking at our, our calendar for next year. Yeah. Like I said, it's just unfortunate with work really more and maybe family commitments that some of the other guys weren't here. It's a big jump as well, man, because it's like your first kickboxing competition is a world championship. Yes. You didn't think about doing maybe just a British or just something small? Uh, to go hard or go home, I think, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, well, I trust Master Wolf and, and Mr. Hemmings and the rest of the, the guys that train me. And if if I wasn't ready or if Adam wasn't ready, then, you know, if they took, took us to the side and said, why don't you come in at a lower level, then I would respect that. But Adam's already been picked for the boys team. I'm very proud of him. Oh, that's good. It's been a lot for him to learn Where is Adam? as well. <laughs> Adam's off. He's meditating. <laughs> um, and you've done squad sessions as well for the yeah. first time at Master Wolf. How did you find them? It's excellent. It was. Um, it's not really. It's a two-hour drive, mm. but three hours of training. 
Plus, all the guys are willing to stay on with us for another two hours afterwards, which I really appreciated more than anything, really, because everyone's got family. Different sparring as well. Different sparring, learnt a lot. Uh, very scientific, which I like. I'm very, I like process. So I could clearly see what, what we were trying to achieve, what the squad was doing, and then such a big squad training as well. Mm. Everyone is inspiring everyone else as, as well. You know, you got the kids there, you got the adults, the guys that have done a lot of tournaments as well. Okay, wicked. Well, thanks for the interview. My pleasure. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. And uh, we might get an interview if you Second win. Second interview for the techniques work, right? Yeah, if you win. If, if you win. win. All right then. All right. Cheers. Thanks, Ruben.